So here we are. I would like to thank the stars above for allowing me to land on this spot. Mild frustration over not being able to accomplish all of my dreams while recording. And yet the moment I stop, Christmas can be saved. I made it though. We'll move on. Oh, but wait! There's more! Call now, and you won't be able to get the controls to respond to you. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck. Completely stuck. I can't move. I have no control. If I wasn't able to load or save or access the menu, the game would be soft-locked. The Crusader is frozen in time. That's not a joke. <laughs> Platforming increases. Greater no remorse. Now, I would like to jump over there. Oh, hey. The Crusader complied. Over here is a grenade launcher. Grenade launcher cliff. That's one of the ways to get access to it, right in this conveyor belt. The other is going against the conveyor belt. That elevator over there in the center of that vat of... Instant death liquid is where we need to go. Yeah, because what the hell is this level design, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with the WEC? <laughs> That's the elevator you want to ride. Of all the terrifying things that could be found at these levels, like that right there, you just think of how close you are to that, and how if any of it spilled over, Anyway, you walk along that narrow ledge, then jump onto the conveyor belt and attempt to save Christmas that way. It could go alright. <laughs> We're going to be riding with the conveyor belt, though, and attempting to land on some of that narrow ledge. You may appreciate the folly of this endeavor. Quick save. Technically possible, but we could freeze in place and softlock again. Or fall into that vat. Let's give it a try and see what happens. Will the Crusader respond to Grimace commands? First try. Wow. <laughs> Quick save. Incredible. There uh, should be more guards activated around here shooting at you, but I believe. Since I took this conveyor belt skip, the like the mission triggers for like when you pass by areas haven't activated. And yes, we've skipped loot, we've skipped enemies, we've skipped cameras, we've st skipped dick move traps or uh, puzzles or skipping those puzzles through that wonderful conveyor belt ride and a bit of delicate jumping and nudging. We're not too far from completing this mission. All right, let's proceed. Hi, how's it going? Big blue. Quick save. Drop your weapon. I don't wanna. He's like, you better. I don't wanna hurt you. He's gonna have to hurt me. Hi. You'll note that guy is still standing there and shooting at us. I haven't found a way to make him leave that corner and ride that elevator down, which would be convenient. Alas. Maybe if I set him on fire, I could get his flaming corpse to run over onto the elevator, but I don't think that's a reliable means. Perhaps I'm mistaken. Let's reload this. And I'm going to drop this one. That is the RP-22. Should be the reloaded. This should be the fully loaded one. Yeah, and then the less than fully loaded one is my RP32. 
Okay. Drop that, and then this one looks more badass, obviously, in the graphic. Okay. Good work, Silencer. Not what I want you to shoot at, though. There's a turret back there. Well, we didn't need all that stuff in the grenade launcher clip anyway, right? We use an energy cube. Camera, unfortunately, caught wind of me and my antics. Now, there's another rocket pod. Let's not let that do anything nefarious to us. Use the keycard. And we are not taking a ride on the conveyor belt through this section. Quick save. We got multiple guards and a thermotron coming up. No, you. Somehow none of those barrels blew up, but I suppose that, that works out for me. Have to be careful. Yep, there's a thermotron. Well, it could have gone worse. <laughs> I wonder if he would walk all the way to the elevator if I let him. No, he can't get through there. The door's closed. Well, it's good to have, you know, some ingenuity in life, right? Where are you at, Thermatron? He's like, I'm not anywhere. I don't know what you're talking about. Not me, not Mr. Innocent good old Thermatron. I feel horrifically uncomfortable now. Help. Uh, <laughs> maybe it walked off. Because I can't find it now. This is bad. Alright, good news he didn't blow up the barrels. Well, it's unfortunate that lightning got frozen there where it was, but I did stop it right in time. That's the other Thermotron production line. I uh, used a spider bomb to blow up one of the generators there. Uh, the Thermotron was fully powered by both generators. The lasers would have vanished, and the Thermotron would have come out to play. I was hesitating over having lost that other Thermotron and then recovering from the laser guy. But I did manage to get it right in time. But we do get to listen to that wonderful sound effect. My apologies. We will save this reality for it entertains me. And we'll move on. That's right, Train. We'll move on. Well... Dead. I was hoping to get that uh, camera before it could spot me and shoot a spider or throw a spider bomb at me, along with start the alarm. We want that red key card that's up there, and uh, climbing up that conveyor belt staircase is a no-go, at least as far as I'm concerned. We're going to need a crutch, and it's going to be with that yellow gold key card. Let's go get it. Hopefully. How about that? That was almost confident. Silencer, please, for the love of God. <laughs> uh, isometric action shooter, everyone. What am I doing? Uh, let's walk this down here a bit, and maybe I'll hit that camera that's down there. I don't want to use a... Uh... Oh, did you lock onto it? 
How about that? We did it. Got a medical kit and an energy cube for our troubles. We certainly have plenty of those. Good knowledge. Good knowledge. Oh yeah! How about that? I did tag that camera. Nicely done, me. I'm so proud of myself. You'd almost think I was confident. Almost. But wait, there's more. Call now and get the silencer hitting literally everything forever except for the dude shooting at him. Ah, we've made it. Great. We'll use another energy cube. Mission is close to being complete. Thanks to my conveyor belt skipping. More saving and loading and troubles than I would have liked. But, uh... Part of the joy and wonders of playing Crusader No Remorse. We'll miss out on some of that delicious loot. And some of those wondrous traps and puzzles. But hey, it gives some replayability to you guys. If you want to play along at home, explore those other things. See what I miss. There's another RP-22 out there. Pretty sure. In that first Thermatron area. How would you solve the puzzleroos and mayhem? Or maybe you can do it better than I can. I mean, if you're better at the platforming in this game than I am, credit to you. You spent time practicing and honing your skills and training in the mountains. One, nine, two. Those codes do change. So, it is imperative for you to check. I'm sure I'll forget that. One, nine, two. Hey! Don't do that. There's a Thresher Cannon of Justice. No. I have plenty of shotgun ammo, so might as well use that. Silencer. Plenty of guards and soldiers who have been left alive by me playing this game as I have. Playing this mission as I have. That little ledge there prohibits you from sneaking a fighter bomb up or two to take out that thresher cannon. I'm going to die. Quick load. That was a failure at target prioritization. Was also the day the music died. Don't do that. Alright. So when last we left off, there was an alert. Oh hey, we're saving right as a guy is coming in. With a laser pistol. He remains firmly convinced. He will get me from that position. Why am I choosing the gun that requires me to pump it? That was very poor choices on my part. Now, of course, there is another guard spawning from that pad. Mutually assured destruction. A pretty rough spot.
We'll wait for this other guard who spawned in from the alarm to creep in. We'll fail to kill him in any meaningful time. Oh, hey, but we upset that guy. Yep, it was that guy we upset. The dangers of the alarm, everyone. Let's turn that shit off. That right there is the telepad that we can use to leave this level. Oh, wait. There's more. As a matter of fact, we can even use that telepad to go without actually getting what we came here for. Quick save. Let's see that in action. What's going on, Tin Man? Where's the file? I don't know what happened, but without those files, we're history. Just like your ride home. No data, no extraction, Tin Man. Wizard out. You didn't think the WEC would really allow me to leave after what happened last mission, did you? No, no. We're stuck here until this issue gets resolved. I've also run out of, uh... My beautiful assault rifle ammo. This distresses me greatly. It's due to all of the aggro I caused right here at the end. Just with that damn alert. Bringing in all those uh, laser equipped soldiers. Which played a havoc on my assault rifle ammo and, of course, on my health. The files are right here. Thermatron Utility Mech. Well, I'm glad all of those hiccups right there uh, at the end added some extra length to this video. Heavens knows we wouldn't want these things to be too short now, would we? There's certainly at least one more video's worth of content that I could have found by exploring more of this level. I'm good. What took you so long, Tin Man? I was beginning to get tired of waiting on you. I'm receiving the file... now. Wait. I'm losing signal strength. Alright, we must have a flux in the power grid. Alright, I'm switching filters to patch in an amplifier. And... That's it. File transfer complete. You might have a future in this business after all, Tin Man. I don't know what all that was about, but I think you better take that as your cue to get out of there like yesterday. Could mean the consortium sniffers have locked onto your position. So hot foot it to the jump pad. On level one, if you don't get there fast, you are a pedestrian. Wizard out. I'll think about getting there fast. Quick save. Now we're good. That's our ride home. Now it's time for cutscene. The vigilance program is a very risky proposition, Mr. Chairman. Even for something as admirable as helping to rid us of this resistance nuisance. Politics is a risky business, Senator Snell. You shouldn't have gotten involved if you weren't willing to take chances. Besides, everything is already in place. Once the public has been shown the significant breakthroughs that the Vigilance program can provide, Mr. Chairman. I'm, I'm certain that no one will object to keeping the... Status quo, Doctor? Exactly. And once the resistance has been crushed, who would even think of not voting for the visionary leaders that brought about world peace? You just make sure that the rest of the Senators approve the funding and I'll see that Vigilance's first use target your concerns. Providing, of course, that Dr. Hoffman's experiments 
who are more successful than some of his others. The guy sitting steeped in shadow is Chairman Dragon. Uh, there's mention of him in the um, in some of the side documents that you get, uh, along with Crusader No Remorse. Uh, he was speaking with Senator Snell, uh, whose name uh, did come up, one of the computer consoles in Mission 1, I think. Uh, we'll certainly be hearing more of him. And of course, Dr. Gregor Hoffman. Yes, they are planning something. Back to that, uh, back to that room design, though, where it's so well lit at the front, and then uh, Chairman Dragon is intentionally like shadowed so that he can appear malevolent and mysterious whenever he leans forward into the light like that. Good attention to detail by the WEC and Dragon. Good work indeed. Anyway, I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> we certainly don't know anything about that. We got these plans. Mission accomplished. The day is saved. This train is coming. I'm on out. Gonna roll through these damn conveyor belts like there's no tomorrow. Woo! Talk to you all later.